Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can manage context from your webhook. Since you are on this video, I assume that you know how to set context and trigger another intent. But when your intent is enable for webhook call and on your webhook you want to make decision that whether to set one context or another context then it is very difficult but i'm sure when you follow along with this tutorial you will definitely understand how to set context on webhook so let's get started the first thing you need is node.js installed on your system second to get a public URL during testing purpose, we will use local tunnel npm package. So this is the local tunnel npm package. You can install globally on your system using this command. Next, you need a code editor. I will use Visual Studio code. So let's get started. So this is my demo agent and if I write hi here, it will respond with one of the responses on default welcome intent since the intent trigger was default welcome intent. So I will remove all the responses here and I will enable webhook for this intent. I will change the name of the action as handle welcome okay i will save this now i will create two new intent let's say first intent and input context is await first the phrase that will trigger this intent is let's say first intent okay i will remove the parameter and in response section i will write this is the response from first intent In the same way, I will create another intent. I'll name it second intent. Context name will be await second. The training phrase will be second intent and the response this is a response from the second intent okay i will save this now the work on the agent side is finished let's get our hands dirty with some programming i will open a folder where i want to write the code and with the help of terminal i will open visual studio code The first thing we are going to do is write npm init with the flag yes. So it will create an empty project. Now I will install express with the flag save. I will create a new folder src under that under that I will create a new file index.js this will be our start point so you can go to the package.json and provide a start script command and that will be node src index.js here we will create a simple express server I have sample code written for 
express server so it is nothing fancy we first require the express package then create express app and then provide a setting for url encoding and to jsonify the response and request it and then provide the port i'll not use this i'll simply use port 5000 this is our home route and this will start the server so let me save this i will use nodemon to run the script nodemon is again a npm package with which you can you know run the js file but it also watches the js file and all along the folders so whenever you change something in the js file it will automatically restart the server so let me run the server so the server is running and let me check it localhost 5000 we got a response hello world now i will use local tunnel to start my local tunnel and get the public url so the command is lt hyphen hyphen port and the port number which you have used here so i have used 5000 then i'll use 5000 i'll hit enter so this is the public url if i i, I go to it we'll see okay it is just a warning that don't you know use sensitive information with local tunnel okay we got the response hello world i'll copy this now we'll go to dialog flow under fulfillment section we will enable the webhook and then provide the url here followed by route name dialog flow and i will save this now here i will create a route web app i'll use post method cause dialog flow will send a request on this url and the request type will be post so that will be dialog flow we will handle request and response and here response dot send the format of the response will be a dictionary or you can say object which will have a key and the name of the key is fulfillment text and the value will be the value that you want to send okay so the value will be hello from the web hook okay let me format this along the side let me console the request dot body i hope you have observed that when i saved the code a, the server automatically restart because i have used nodemon you can install nodemon using a global flag so you can use it anywhere now let me come here i'll say hello so i'll trigger the default welcome intent and when i do it it will go to the webhook okay so you can see that we got a response hello from webhook and you can verify that in under the diagnostic info you can see that the status of the fulfillment webhook execution successful this is the response we sent and this is the request actual request which was sent by dialog flow to our webhook so if you go here you can see the request okay this is the request parameter so our goal here is to set the context so let's first 
see the context so it is under request body so this is body under query result output context so let me print it under query results so result and then output context i'll use uh, json stringify so that we can see it very clearly again let me fire the same query we got a response now we can see here okay so you can see this is the context which was set by dialog flow default which is system counters but from here i would like to you know understand that there the context has three properties one is not visible here but three properties one is name second is life span count and third is parameter so the name of the context is this and if you clearly see it it is the same as the session id followed by the keyword context and context name so let me first grab session id which is request dot body dot session now i will create the name of context let's say let context name is equal to session followed by keyword context followed by the actual context name so let me first go here and let's see the first intent the context name is await first so let me provide it here await first now this is our context name the next question in your mind will be how to you know send this to dialog flow so we can send it using a key output context now output context as you can see here is a list list of object so we will send a list inside we will have a object as i mentioned earlier it has three properties name lifespan count and parameters so let me provide the first name will be this kind of name session id this is session id followed by context keyword and then actual context name so it will be context name then life span count life span count is a life span for which the context will be there on the dialog flow session so let's say one then parameters parameters is an object an object having key and value so let's say let me save this okay now if i fire the query hello okay you can see we got the response and under the context section you can see we have set the context await first and if you go to diagnostic info this is our response so we set the context as well now here if i write like first intent which is the query phase for this first intent then it will trigger the first intent response now here you can write any logic any logic any database call or anything and based on the response of that call you decide whether to set first context or second context let me set second context 
when I say hello, it will set the second context and under diagnostic info you can see that we have parameters. If I say second intent, it will trigger the response from second intent and I hope you understand that we have set input context for both first and second intent. So if I write second intent, it will not going to trigger it because it is protected by input context. Also, it's a kind of a general convention while you develop this kind of uh, facility that you don't set output context for the intent which is enable for webhook call so that you know you falsely don't set any context let me show you let me set a context await underscore dwi now i have set this context on the intent itself and i'm sure that you understand that we are also going to set a context from webhook as well so when i say now hello here it has set the context from webhook which is await second and it also has set the await dwi context so don't run into this type of errors whenever you want to enable webhook for a intent you must not set output context you can have input context so i hope this video is helpful to you the code used in this video is on my github and the link for the repository is in the description of the video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel share this video thank you for watching peace